Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're going to be doing a review and a cook using the new Z Grills pellet smoker. Now unfortunately, the first part of my video, we had some problems, so I had to cut that out. So I just want to let you know what we did. We're actually cooking a whole brisket that I picked up. It's just a choice brisket, inexpensive brisket. I wanted to do as a, as a kind of a test run on the new Z Grills. Now what I did do is I used Cosmo's Reserve Blend for the injection. So I injected it really, really well. And then I used Daigle's Brisket Rub. Fantastic flavors. It's been a while since I used that one, but it has some really good flavors. It does have a bite to it. I think they're from around the Louisiana, so it's got a little bit of that Cajun kick to it, but it has some really great flavors. So, And then I let it sit for about an hour while I was getting the pellet uh, smoker up to temp. So hang with us and we'll take you out to the grill and show you how everything looks. All right guys, this is the new Z Grill 7002. This is the premium model 7002E. This is what we just got in recently and we're gonna cook this brisket on today. So I'm gonna bring you in a little closer and we're, we've already put it together. It was real simple. Took maybe 45 minutes total. I do recommend if you have an extra person to have them help you with. So let's go in closer and we'll show you um, some of the different parts of, the, of this uh, grill. First of all, it's got a nice hopper, uh, pellet hopper. It's pretty large. Put a lot of pellets in there. That's like one bag of pellets they sent me and we're using their pellets today, which is uh, oak. And as far as their Temperature settings is pretty self-explanatory. It's very simple to use. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, cut this on. And we're gonna, it's already on here. So we can go ahead and put this on 300 is what we're searching for today. So it's just really simple to do. Nice stainless steel look. It's got a sleek look to it. Put your smokestack. Inside, got a fair amount of room here. Got you a warming rack up here, or if you want to just put something kind of small up here during your smoking time, you can. And I could probably put a couple briskets in there. Maybe three or four ribs, racks of ribs, just depending on how big they are. Then you get, got your grease drain here. I just need to put me something in there, like a little cup or something to catch that grease. Wheels are really nice, heavy duty wheels. Got you a rack down below if you want to store some stuff. And it came with a really nice cover as well. And if you're new to having a pellet grill or smoker, this right here is your grease tray down here. If you can see the foil on that. And one tip there for easy cleanup is to always wrap that in foil. You will thank me later. So be sure to do that as well. Porcelain coated grill grates. So overall, this is a great looking pellet grill. Again, this is a pretty straightforward pellet grill. Very easy to, to do, very easy to operate. So if you are new to pellet grills, I definitely recommend it. And once we finish with this cook, we will give you the final review on how it performs. All right, we got the brisket on. We'll go ahead and put our meat probe in here, probably the thickest part we could find. Right in there. And I've been monitoring this so far, and it's pretty accurate. Um, it's been within the around five to ten degrees as far as the ambient temperature of the of the grill. So it's pretty it's pretty spot on as far as with using this Maverick. This Maverick is a great uh, thermometer. So let's uh, close it down. We're looking for about an internal temperature of 165. We may spritz it a couple times throughout the cook with some like beef broth or something. 
But we'll get to 165 and we'll show you how it looks, guys. We're about an hour into the cook. Start to get some nice color and we're gonna go ahead and spray this with some beef broth, this is plain beef broth. This is gonna help set that bark for us that we want. Looking really good, it's coming along nicely. Z grill so far is holding the temp really, really well and it's very accurate as far as with the Maverick thermometer. So we'll come back in probably another hour, two hours to spray it again. All right, we're gonna check and see where we're at. We're running around close to four hours so far. I wanna kinda of see, we've got great color. 165, 166, so a little hotter over here. 167 there. 164, so I think we're good. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up and then get it back on there till we get to 210. Well, we're gonna wrap the brisket now with uh, butcher paper. I need some wider butcher paper so I can do it this way, but this is gonna have to work today. We'll make it work with this butcher paper. And what I like to do is to add a little bit of this. Beef broth, wrap another piece around this. Yep, I'm gonna take and wrap another piece about. Yep, I'm gonna wrap another piece around this and then we'll get it on the, the cooker. All right, our outside thermometer is reading right around 205, so we're gonna check this with our instant read. And we are at 205, right on the money there. Right at 199 there. I may let this sit in here for a little bit longer, but I'm gonna take it and wrap it in full, put it in a towel, and then put it in a cooler and let it rest in the cooler for a few hours until I'm ready to serve, and we'll show you how it looks then. All right, guys, I've already removed the point because I'm gonna cut some burn in, so I wanna go ahead and try this, see how we're looking. It's a little dry on this end, but this is where I actually had cut it away from the, the, the point originally. So we're gonna kinda cut across the grain here See how it looks. It's got a, a pretty nice smug ring there. Let's cut a few pieces up. It's got still got some juice in there. Again, this is not a high end. This is just a choice brisket. And it's definitely got some flex to it. Let's pull it apart. Oh, it pulls apart fine. Yeah. So it's it's not bad at all. I call that a success there, really. It's got a great flavor. Let's go ahead and give it a try. And uh, I think overall it's done well. All right, again, works very well. It's got a, a nice bend to it, pulls apart. Try it out. Man, it's a little dry. Again, I think it's just because it's not a very good cut um, uh, brisket. So, but the flavor is there. Probably could have ejected a little bit more, but it is, it's awesome. Again, it, it cooked right at six hours, and then I had it in the cooler wrap with a towel in a, in a full for another couple of hours so eight hours before I actually sliced it and you know again this is not a this is not a competition brisket it's just for some friends and I think they're gonna they're gonna love it it turned out really well so the Z grill did great as far as holding the heat uh, I can't say anything bad about that at all I, I had the the Maverick 
and they were the Maverick therm the thermometer and those two together held almost within just a few degrees from each other so I think it's very good. I think anybody can use it. I do highly recommend it for someone who is not familiar with a pellet smoker. This will be your first one. It does great, easy setup, very easy to maintain, and it, it'll work for the, to experience one as, as well. So, guys, I thank you so much as always for watching. I really appreciate you being with us. If you're new to the channel, I hope you would consider subscribing and continue to come back. If you've got any questions or anything that you would like to see on the channel please be sure to put in the comments below until then guys thanks so much and god bless